communication with your patient during this procedure allows you to know uh, what is uh, needed uh, by the patient or desired by the patient and also allows for you to um, have some good communication. The other hand is almost uh, finished being washed and uh, will be dried in the same fashion as it was on the other side. When this is completed, it, uh, the towel will be placed on the patient's chest and arm area. Uh, the upper arms or shoulder area will allow privacy to not only wash under the female breast, but will allow an opportunity to wash under the axilla. If you remember, axilla is the other term for armpit. Because this is an area that harbors quite a lot of odor and bacteria, it's important to wash thoroughly. Uh, also, you notice that she is observing the chest and the breast area, even though she's providing privacy as she does the washing. One of the main considerations with washing underneath the breast is to observe for any redness that may be occurring. A lot of times when there's one uh, skin surface that's rubbing against another, it is a perfect opportunity for um, a reddened and inflammatory process to start. And if anything like that is something that you observe, you would certainly want to be uh, letting the nurse know about it. Sometimes deodorant or uh, baby powder gets applied and sometimes not. It's an individual decision that you and the patient can make. The perineal area on the female uh, is, is the, considered to be the labia and vulva. And again, you only expose that portion that is necessary. Notice as we're zooming in a little bit more closely, the caregiver has washed on the far side and then she's washing at a different portion of her washcloth on the right side or the near side. And now the last or third wipe is down the center called um, the vulva area. And she's only going from top to bottom or from front to back. You never then go from back to front. Let's see it in slow motion this time as she rinses. The far side from top to bottom on the labia on the far side. Then she uses a separate portion of her washcloth and wipes from top to bottom on the right side or closer side to her. Then another portion of the washcloth and she separates the labia and washes right down the center of it. A little bit difficult to see on the video, but um, uh, you can tell as I've been described it as well. Then it's padded dry. And we're going to cut away now and uh, cover the person up. And then I'm going to show a demonstration of how you would do this if this were a male patient. As with washing the perineal area of the female, for the male peri area, you're going to put the gloves on, have your fresh water, and make your mitt. And then you're going to gently raise the shaft of the penis with one hand. And uh, if the patient is circumcised, retract the foreskin carefully to expose what's called the glans penis. Uh, using circular motion then, cleanse from the tip of the penis outward and wash downward towards the shaft with soap and water. And you notice she's using different portions of the washcloth as she does that. Then cover the gen genital area up while the water is rinsed. And then uh, again, you repeating those same steps, circular motion starting from the tip of the penis and washing down the shaft of the penis uh, at the end. 
inspection during that whole time is very important to make sure that there are no abnormalities that might be observed. After the, uh, uh, the uh, penis has been washed and the foreskin gets returned back to its original normal position after it has been retracted. Then after the penis itself has been washed, the scrotal area gets washed secondly and lift the scrotal area, wash thoroughly, followed by rinsing and then uh, patting the area dry. You may be able to notice that um, there is a under pad in this bed. Maybe it isn't as clear to you, but it's a good idea because it will help uh, prevent any moisture from getting onto the linens themselves. A continuation of pericare for both the male patient and the female is the washing of the buttock area. You notice that the cheek of the buttock is washed first and then followed by washing from the crack up on the uh, patient. This washing of the buttock is the last part of doing a partial bed bath. And it's important always to wash from clean to dirty and uh, removing any fecal material that might be there uh, uh, on the patient's bottom because it can cause irritation if it's left on the body in addition to odors. So be certain that plenty of soap and rinsed well with water and dried uh, occur with washing of the buttock. Now, the very last thing will be uh, doing the back rub. Back rubs uh, are given with every bath and um, its lotion is always warmed in the hand. In addition, sometimes the entire lotion bottle will be placed into the basin itself to be warmed. And after it's warmed in the hands, the uh, hands are applied to the low back and work in symmetry going up the back and around the shoulders and down and back up again around the shoulders and providing firm, smooth strokes. This should not be a choppy experience. It should be really relaxing for the patient. Most of the times when done well, the patients very much enjoy a back rub as part of their bath. It is not something that you should be asking the patient, would you like a back rub? It should be assumed that a back rub would be given with every uh, bed bath that's done. And this is certainly because the patient is spending an awful lot of time in bed and those muscles and uh, bones will get very achy. Sometimes patients feel that because you are so busy, no, it's okay. It's not necessary to give a back rub, so don't give them the option. Just go ahead and do it. A back rub should last approximately one and a half to three minutes. And uh, you wouldn't want to just give a back rub for 30 seconds. It's not a very relaxing uh, procedure when it's only done for such a limited amount of time. This is another reason why it's um, so important to have short nails. To be giving a person a back rub can easily scratch a person if uh, the nails are long. So having uh, short nails for this part of the bath is particularly important. Now if there's any excess lotion on the back after the back rub has been given, just blot it dry with the towel that you're using for, for drying.